Previously on the Night VP channel. Um, I might just like leave and never come back. Oh. <laughs> and coming up. And it's misting. Holding. It's misting. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get access to the most unappealing crap you'll find anywhere on the whole internet. Cue the snafu! <laughs> oh. Hi and welcome to another video on the Novimpia Chanel. Well, Nova's full of piss and vinegar today because it's her birthday, isn't it? I mean, it, it was is. her birthday last week, but we're filming two in one in one yes. go here. Because we're very, very business women after a business woman special. Do you have some sort of business woman special? What kind of business are you in? Nova has a, you know, a frightful habit of, well, farting in her sleep, but also buying toys that litter our house, that she gets a lot of fun and she gets a little fucking buzz God going. God forbid I have some fun and enjoyment. I used to be just happy with a few things, but the more neat things I got, the happier I got. I just wish that you you could you could glean fun from something less creepy. What do you mean creepy? I don't want this shit in our house. <laughs> Here's Barbara Streisand. Looks just like her too. Nova is going to take the lead on this one because once again she has purchased some kind of toy off of Amazon. Yes. And we're going to look at it. Yeah. You know, play with it, I yeah. suppose. And then it'll it will end up going to some poor, you know, kid that we found Lost on Facebook name. or something. You know, it. Don't know where that went. You spent how long putting your nails on? You've already shoved up your bum. What have we done so far? We did stuff a loon. Hiya, Bobby. Oh, fuck me, Ken. Stuff a loon, stuff a loon. We've done slime, like, ball things, what they call. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, God, that was that tea masala. We did an ice maker. Ice maker? Uh, slushy Frost, Mr. Mr. Frosty, Frosty thing. has such fun. Look how cute that is. That would be a really nice, like, Myra Hindley accessory. We did... Why don't we remember anything? What the hell is this? Universe! Unis. Universe. Oh, we did the dinosaur thing. And I don't even know what that dinosaur thing was. It was a disaster, so, I think you know... it's been a very successful series, and people in... have had a real good time with it. The, the next edition of this toy series. Nova? We are going to be unopening and having a look at a magic mixie. What the fuck is that? So you wanted one of these ages ago. This was like the hot item last year, was it not? This was the number one most sought after toy for Christmas 2021. And it was sold out everywhere and it went quite viral on the internet. There were loads of people on TikTok and YouTube, like using these things. It's a potty. I'm so we're, <laughs> we're a little bit late to the party with it, but they have just brought out a newer model for this holiday season. So well, if you guys enjoy us playing with this, perhaps that could be something we could explore. It looks smelly. The thing is, it's I, very we know expensive. That this. we're late to the party, but I wouldn't let Nova get one. So for her birthday, I was like, well, we're going to be filming on her birthday. Let's do something that'll, you know. Match her outfit. So it says, who will you magically create? 50 plus sound and reactions, read spell, add ingredients, tap wand, see mist, create mixie, perform spells and more. Makes real mist. So from what I understand of this is, it's used to help infants urinate. No. To, to learn It's them. a cauldron. And inside is a toy and a mist machine. And somehow following the instructions and casting the spell, All right. you're going to make the toy appear. Okay. You're going to create the toy inside this. And then what are you doing with the toy afterwards? Play with it. We could turn it into a Halloween prop. We could paint it black. This could be great as a Halloween prop, actually. Because if this mist comes out of yeah. it or something. I wonder if you could like hack it. Hack it. Alan Turing is a trailblazing icon. So let's carry on then. Should we take it out of the box? Um, yes. That we. This is something that we absolutely need to read the instructions on, though. Otherwise, we could just do it. Shit. There's so much crap. That Stanley. We need a new Stanley knife. That one wouldn't yes, cut. That one wouldn't cut cheese. I, I haven't had cheese in a while. I've, I fancy some powder. Do you, have you got a favourite kind of cheese? The stronger, stinkier, the better. Well, you've achieved that with this. <laughs> it looks stinky. Children's toys are so unappealing. 
Do you remember, what was that? Miss, what was that? Is that a bit ASMR? Is it disgusting? No, will it be ASMR bumhole? Let's go in, cheers. He's a suck, eating a sucker mass. What was that? Uh, baby and it had cherries and it used to stink. Do you remember that? <laughs> what did it used to stink? It would smell like cherries. I remember what it was. It was my baby all got all gone. Baby all gone. Gloria all red. Do you remember Gloria all red? Okay, so then it was like that. It was going like that. Is that right? That's right. Okay. Okay. You might have to open this because I've got nails on oh, it. It's very TV. difficult. <sighs> There's things inside. Stop important information. All right. What's this for? We're about to find out. Oh. When the mist is released to reveal the magic mixy plush, it will have a significant fog-like effect and may have a mild odor. Please be assured it has been extensively tested and has been assessed by multiple independent certified child safety specialists, ensuring that there are no potential health and safety risks. Acne, bleeding, baldness, blindness, whooping cough, hallucinations, coma, trouble swallowing. Trick nine, fever, purple, your mom's chest hair, precious based on the novel Push by Sapphire. To generate the mist effect, we have used vegetable glycerin, which is safe for human consumption. It does not contain any animal byproducts or chemical additives. A mild odor of what? If you have concerns regarding this, feature or if your child suffers from respiratory issues please scan the qr code below for further information before activating the toy if you want to disable the mr pepper any reason please refer to the two ways to play page of the instruction manual who cares if you had your own signature celebrity fragrance i bet it would the bottle would look a bit like this what would you call what would it be called um butt stuff by nova <laughs> chin up Infinitely woman. Butt stuff by Nova. Is there a way we can have this plugged in? Oh, oh no. Using... Well, you got to plug it in. Plug it into your socket. Charge it up. Charge. What, are we, what gets charged? This. Butt stuff by Nova. No, the cauldron. This is mind numbing, this. I'd hate to be a child today because, like, there's so much shit in there. We just used to have, like, a rope and we were told to just crack on. I've got the feeling the toy's already inside it. Don't spoil it. Prissy Bitch Boy, the fragrance by Nova, travel edition. Speak. That's not English. Magister Kessel. That's not English. Einlet Tung. Hello, guten Abend. Ich heiße Aubergines. Manuel de Utilization. I used to know him. Magic Cauldron Instruction Manual Patent Pending. Oh, so now's your time to do a copy. Yeah, if you want to nick this potty, then please come and just take it from our house, actually. Okay, uh, mm, we should get all of this out first properly, shouldn't we? It's still in the box. How do we get it out of the box? I think if I had my own fragrance, I'd call it Fame by Lady Gaga. Can we please invest in a knife that actually cut something? Well, buy me one then. That wouldn't cut water. You know, if, if the house suddenly exploded, this would be the last thing that you ever did with your life. <laughs> Two hours later. There we go. <laughs> For the shrewd amongst you, you will have noticed that there is a, a, a shelf in here which does not reach the bottom. Don't spoil the magic. Which makes, which leads me to believe okay. that the Mixies is already inside. It's so like, can you undo this? It's just a potty, isn't it? Piss! Take this fucking toilet. <laughs> I'd probably get more entertainment out of doing this. My baby all gone. The instructions are quite a lot. She's always eating cherries. It was cherries and it's the whole thing. She stank a ch like a cherry. Okay, so, no. We need to add water, fill the potion bottle once to the fill line and then pour it into the top of your cauldron. Wait. The cauldron will come to life with bubbling and boiling sounds. There's no fill line. Only I apply think. one full potion bottle of water, right? basically right to the rim. Can you stop saying rim? We're gonna get demonetized. You want me to go and fill this with water and come back? Yeah. Yes, my lad. Mrs. Crocom. What? I, I burned the ginger biscuits, my darling. Stick a broom up my ass, I'll sleep the floor at the same time. 
Okay, so are you gonna pour pour this into the cauldron? You see there's sensors there, so it should then come alive. Just in, into the cold, cold. Into the, yeah. I'm doing it. Five minutes later. Imagine getting this for a small child. It says it should come to life with bubbling and boiling and sounds. And telling them they've got to wait an hour before they can use it. You'd, te you'd have, there'd be a warning on the side, like charge this the night before for Christmas day or they'll be pissy. There should also be a warning, like don't piss in it. Get your phone, get your phone. It's doing something. Yeah, because I, 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 I unplugged it. Do, Do I have to tap it now? Yeah, <gasps> tap it three times. <laughs> oh, it's not. We good. are in business. So next, um, it's a potty. We need to add the sound dust. Pour this into the cauldron and stir with your wand to dissolve. What is that? Sound dust. What is that? What the hell is that? Number oh. two. Number two. This one. It's really hard though. Like, what? Oh, it's all dry and shit. Shit. I hate this. Is this toxic? Because I've just eaten half of it. Am I going to put this in there? Yes. In the water? Yes, and stir it with the magic wand. Okay, hang on. It's really hard and like... It's like old brown sugar that you found at the back of your nan's <laughs> cupboard. It's bubbling. It's fizzing. Is it? Yes. And stir it with this thing? Yes. It's, a, it's made to stir tap. Stir it. But it said tap. It made the three taps. Yes, yeah. but you need to dissolve it first and then do the tap. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I'm currently doing that. That Stay looks good. Th okay, now do tap. <gasps> well, that sounds like the Gardenscapes music. Wow. Right, the glimmer sound and white light indicate it's time to add the glimmer star. Have we got a white light? Glimmer star, number three. But we can't give this to any other kid because we've already used up all of the- You can buy refills. All right. Was I supposed to put that in? Well, we put it in now, so congratulations. You said three, I put it in. Drop the star into the cauldron, stir with your wand to dissolve. Tap cauldron three times with your wand when prompted. Okay, the star. I'm just going to break it up at the end of the wand. I can't be bothered to... Alright. <laughs> now, if I'm doing all this, we should switch. It's your toy. Alright, I'll we'll switch then. It's dead. It's died. So now we have to put in the magic feather. Oh, your big fat hairy arms are in the way! Magic feather, is that made of paper? Is it gonna dissolve? I mean, the star isn't completely dissolved yet, but. Oh, that's so unappealing. What is that? The, the feather's not really dissolving. Yeah, I mean, none of it is dissolving. I don't think it really matters that much. It, it can't detect if it's dissolved or it's just. Okay, quick. Fizz flower next. This is dull. I think this, this is really this. dull. It is. <laughs> I would have loved this as a kid. I'm just Try. making potions. Did you never go into the garden and like make potions? I made potions in the bathtub. Um, time to add the fizz flower. I was too lazy to go outside. <laughs> Adding the flower. Oh, it's got another little layer of protection. Get your flower out. Oh, what? It just shat itself in there, that thing. Oh, that's like a little bath bomb. That's very soft. That dissolves really quickly. You want to dump, dump in? Jump in and have a dip. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of cute, but I'm not. I don't know. I just seems I'm like I'm having a lot of time. This just seems like overpriced shit so far. Oh, has it gone sort of glittery? Is it a bit glittery in there? It's not like water anymore, is it's, it? It's, it's gone, like, more kind of impressive. Green. Now it looks like a potion, and the light is less like a light. We're waiting for the dun dun dun. The liquid has diffused <gasps> the light. That sounds like when you complete a level on Gardenscapes. Wow. Crystal sound and purple light. That's it. Of a purple light. Indicate it's time to add the crystal gem. Drop this into the cauldron and stir with your wand to break up. What's that? Crystal gem. It's number... Oh, I've got it. I've got it. It's over here. This is the crystal gem. Okay. All right. Quick Nova. Put it in. Oh. Get the golden... Oh. Did you just... Sorry. It's just like... 
flicks itself in. It's here. I didn't even see it. I don't even know what that is, actually. Oh, it's a small shoe. We'll just carry on stirring it. The problem with this is that a lot of these ingredients aren't, like, fully dissolved, but I guess, like, seeing bits in it makes it a bit more like it's a real I potion. wonder where it, like, goes afterwards. There's a tutorial on how to empty it. Oh! <laughs> I like that it's sort of like you put on a little show for your kids. It's like a little theatrical This moment. is definitely something mum and dad needs to, like, help yes. with. Or mum and mum, don't be so fucking backwards. Oh, you mean the gays, <laughs> not the gays. Oh. <laughs> Some people say, what do we do for a living? Orange lights. I think about that all the time. Paper rustling sound indicates it's time to add the naming scroll. There you go, number Name seven. Name your magic mixie by writing their name on the paper before dropping this into the cauldron and stirring with your wanted All right, dissolve. here you go, take that. You're gonna give it a name? Yeah. Well, Butford, I thought. That's something nice. Not Butford. Will this make it go black, do you think, if I use a sharpie? Oh yeah, maybe don't do that. Um, can we call it Scylla? Yeah, all right. Scylla! The one and only Scylla, let's see you! Okay, here we go. That says Scylla. Yes, okay, pop it in then. Scylla. I think it's gonna make the the water go dark, which might be nice, or it might just end up looking really murky, I don't know. Scylla. There's always got to be These some- These things don't dissolve very easy, do they? Do it again, it just, it just did the thing. Oh. I think it thought that I did it, even though I didn't do it. Yeah, it's a piece of shit. It's playing some mute. Oh my god, we're nearly. Well, this is it then. It says, do not place your hands or wands inside the cauldron at this time. A large volume of mist will emanate. It's misting! The it's misting! This is cack, this is. Oh, it does stink a little bit. Are you on the toilet, chef? <laughs> no. This, though, if we can get it constantly doing this, as a Halloween prop, that's so cool. That is cool, but I don't know... Yeah, we would have to hack it. There's no way we Listen. could. Listen! You should... It's Scylla. She's inside Did it. you hear her? No. Made a little sound. It's Scylla. This is really cool because it disguises what's happening inside. You can't see. Is something going to come out of it? Where's Scylla? <laughs> what was that? That was really frightening. Is that it? Oh, There's something in there. Oh my god. It's Scylla! Do you know who I am? Can we, get, can we get him out? You better be able to get him out. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, it says, you may remove the magic mixie from the cauldron by rotating anti-clockwise and pulling out. And that's why it's got. God, how strange this is. I'm going anti-clockwise, am I? But there's literally like an arrow on it. Does anybody care? Keep going. It's got, it's got like an elastic on it. Well, how irritate. Is it dry or wet? Do you care? It's dry. That's so cool that the water just like, it, it flushes. It's a self flushing. I feel like it has an elastic on it and I can't get it off. Oh, take the phone. Oh, careful, you're gonna get water everywhere. You can't tip that over. Well, it, that is the way it's going. Seven hours later. I think it's got tangled. Oh, do you think so? I just don't understand. It's the most infuriated thing. I want my fucking toy. I want my toy. I want my toy. Several song-filled hours later. I can't believe you've done it. Look, here it is. All oh, it's all fur. tangled. The waterbed. Well, I mean, that's a slight design flaw, isn't it? Hang on, let's have a look at the... Oh my god. Oh my god. That is all that's left. Oh no. Okay, so if you look at the... There's a piece of elastic on the back of this and it's got tangled in the fur and now it's like impossible because we've turned it so many times. It's like all stuck in there. I don't oh, know if this is supposed God. to stay on it or or No, what? surely not. 
It's so expensive as well. Like, who the hell is is buying this? I don't understand the elastic. This company this. took people. What does it even look like? Oh, it looks like you. It's very bloody cute. It looks like you. You wear those colours all the time. But I don't really understand this. The whole elastic situation. Don't worry about it. No one cares. It's all like lopsided. So batteries are included. It should be able to move. Can the arms come down? Oh, it's because it's. Oh no. No. That's just how he is. It's like something you win in like a claw machine. Oh, the wire does move. <gasps> oh, so you can manipulate. Yeah, no, it's wire inside. It literally is like your colours. I feel like you've, in there. you've worn shit like that before. Or you look like that. So it's, it's, that's a design flaw, first of all, because there's all this elastic shit, which immediately ruins the magic. I wonder if that was like a common mistake that, with this thing, or if that was just our misfortune. Oh, it's got a tail. So do you want to turn it on then? It's Scylla. I ate that. I absolutely <laughs> ate that. <laughs> How do we turn it on? One of those is a button. Oh, oh, it lights up at the front as well. Oh, it is cute though. Pet your magic mixie just above its gem to build up its energy. Watch as the gem lights up and your mixie makes cheerful noises. Hi, oh, darling, you're at Sil. Oh, that's nice. What that is you, very, very cute. What have you been up to today, Scylla? If you sit your mixie surprise, on surprise! the rim of the cauldron by threading its tail through one of the handles, it'll sit there and help you cast spells in the cauldron as it chatters and mumbles magic words. Like that? Yes. That's on it. Tap your wand on the magic on the mixie's gem whilst it's in enchantment mode and you might get a surprise. What's a surprise? Does anybody care? There we know. Nothing happened. So this as well, this is, this is a little bit convoluted because like it does a lot of things, but they all sound and look very similar. So you can't really tell what's what. You're so creepy. What do you mean I'm creepy? This is so adorable. It's a of shit. I mean, once, this yeah, that is, is really cute. cute. Just to charge it then. It's got a battery pack in its head. So you have to charge battery, like Batteries, triple A's or yeah. something. Okay. What's this little, oh, there's water in here. I haven't even opened it. That's for the mist machine. Oh, I We've see. Got extra refill. Yeah, there must be a way we can rig this so it just mists all the time. That would be sick, I'd like that. When you leave your magic mixie alone, it will regain its energy. If you continue to leave it alone, your mixie will become tired and fall asleep. Yeah, there's like a lot of things here. This I sucks. I don't really understand it. I think it sucks. I'm out. I think this is a prime example of a toy that a kid would get on Christmas Day. They'd lose and their shit. And it would shit. cause loads of arguments because the parents won't be able to know how to work it. They don't know how to work it. There's fucking mess everywhere as per usual. The kids, there'd be an argument about which kid does what. And then after 10 minutes, you'd lose interest in it. I have to say I'm very disappointed because I was so on board and I loved it. I absolutely loved it up until we had so such a fiasco getting the little bastard out of the cauldron. Oh, it died. Oh, um, mind. I won't show how to like refill it and everything because I think that'd be quite boring, but there are instructions on how to like reset it and you can buy more of these to do it again. Mind you, this would be quite a cute sort of little shoulder fringe for you. I'm not even mad about that, you know. What does that look like? And you can, you should get another one, put it on the other side, and then have them light up and talk. I'm not even mad at that. Well, it's why have I suggested cute. that's annoying? Why have I told you to do that? Cut the label off. Though, Are you aware how cheap. expensive this was? I don't even want to talk about how expensive it was because you're out of your, you're out of your mind, Dane. You're out of your mind. This tool's gonna punish you. For like reviewing purposes, it's like it's eighty worth quid, it. isn't it? No, it's not quite that much. But you're gonna get what? Careful, it's full of water. It's got water in it. It's a water bed. No, it shouldn't have because the water magic away, didn't it? It's still there. Oh, presto, shut up. <laughs> You'd get one good use out of that. The kid's not going to do it a not, second time. No, you could do. So these currently retail for $69.99. I've been gutted. That is a very, very expensive 10 toy. minutes. It's an expensive That's a 10 very minutes. very expensive toy. Don't bother with it. What's that? I now? don't know if maybe we were just unlucky in our experience with it because everything else seemed to go smoothly. The ingredients and everything went exactly as the instructions said. All right. 
It's better than that dinosaur thing. That sucked, but... I think it does still require a little bit of imagination because these are just bits of paper and, like, half bath bombs that you're chucking in. It's like so I think you bombs. do have to really play it up. I think it could be something really magic and really fun for kids, but there it was does something similar to this, though, to the dinosaur thing, because I can remember that, the, the powder being all sort of claggy and stuff. It's just, I don't know, a kid, I'm sure, would love it because... Kids are stupid, aren't they? But please let us know in the comments if you know anyone who has purchased one of these, what you think of this. Or do if you, anyone wants it. Do you want to see the newer model, which I believe is based on a crystal ball? Well, we're going to have to, aren't we? And that, from what I've seen, is not quite as complicated. It's not as many, like, parts to it. They want it to more stop expensive. making these toys with, like, a hundred plastic things. Because we just, I mean, you know, apologies, Grisha. How dare you? I reckon we're going to paint this black and rig it up for Halloween and make it miss. That would be cute. I'd be yeah. Even, to even just getting a little mini mist machine to put in Shove there. in there. Yeah, we'll do that. Because it's a really lovely design. If we can have this light on the front. Yeah, but the colour is not good. Colour is very like Spyro. Maybe gay. just like a little um, gay Spyro. dry brush in black and keep the colours, but just make it look a bit oh, more Oh, I believe aged. I've just said we're going to not, we're going to change it. Because that's too gay. I'm not having that in my house. What are you pointing at? This is tasteful. This is very tasteful. It's not sexy. That's not romantic. Get rid of it. We've got stuff over on our Patron, which is probably of higher quality than this. I wouldn't get your hopes up. Uh, however, if you'd like to go over to the Patron to have a look at what is on there, then the link address will be coming up now, presently, shortly. Mah! What you gonna do? That was, that was not okay. There's a lot of things happening from you today, which are scaring me. Uh, and also... Bend over. No. Get that camera off. Oh, I thought you were going to spank me with it. What the hell did you just do with it then? Absolutely nothing. You did. You are a get. Some of those guys over there get birthday shout outs, including Nova. Banana minute two. <laughs> Me like a kipper. I thought you'd forgotten when you weren't paying attention. No, hysterical. Is it very funny and attractive and now magical? Too. And we'll get through this and maybe get some chippies in for September 19th. It's Matthias. Happy birthday, happy Matthias. birthday, Matthias. Doll for September 20th. It's Gary Rowland. Happy birthday, Gary. Happy birthday for the 22nd. It's Ryan. Happy birthday, Ryan. Happy birthday for the 24th. We've got three. It's Tom, Dave, and Philip. Happy birthday, Tom. Dave and and Philip, maybe you guys are all related. That would be how that works. If you were, you know. Oh. And then for September 26th, it's Kirsty. Thank you so much for being with us over on the Patron. Happy you birthday, can see, guys. You can see shit like my fellow podcast. We're also on Twitch. Oh, it is cute. Aren't we on it Twitch, though? Cute. Aren't we? Yeah. It's wet, though, and it's covered in, like, sandy, garlicky, wet shit. It's like... Oh, it is cute. Gloria Ramirez, the toxic woman. <laughs> like, covered in a sheen of fruity garlic. Um, what do we do on Twitch? We play games, don't we? Yeah. I suppose that's all you need to know if you want to watch that. I'm, I'm, you know, no one's forcing you to. No one's forcing you to. I'd actually probably skip it. I wouldn't even bother. But no. They should follow us on Twitch. And our social media will be on the screen at the moment. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't bother following Novas because I'm going to have her committed very shortly for doing shit like this. No, poo, I don't want that. Not poo. Yes, poo. No, not poo. Yes, poo. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did something come out of my nose just then? Did you see that? Something came out. We well, ruined it. Of my nose. Oh, I ruined it. Like yeah. it wasn't just cat beforehand. Scylla! And a free bottle of Butt Stuff by Nova to Carl Hodges, Emma Wakeley, Tom Fletcher, Casey Luke, Christopher C, Michael Anderson, Ryan, Jamie Wright, J32, and Adam C. Do, do you think we can leave that in? <laughs> I don't know! Yeah, we can leave that in. We can leave it in, I think. And then this bit can be. This, in the we're end currently part. over the end card. Oh yeah. my god, we're here over the end card! Huh? <laughs> Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron.